A Buford pastor vows to move on after fire destroys. His historic church in the downtown area crews were on the scene while you were sleeping. 11 Allies Molly Oak joins us now live outside the First Pentecostal Church with a look at the damage. Molly, we also had the chance to speak with the church's pastor. Were there any services or anything happening at the church before the fire started? Well, Ariana, he says that there was nothing going on last night when that fire started, but I want to step aside because fire crews still on scene. Actually, within the last couple of minutes, they just went right back up, still continuing to dump water on top of that historic church. Again, pastor saying there wasn't really anything going on at the church. It's First Pentecostal Church off East Morena Street last night. He did say a couple of members were driving by and then they just saw the smoke. Now that's when the pastor says the young men ran into the church and up into the attic with fire extinguishers, but says by that time it was too late, saying the men told him there were flames coming out of both sides of the attic. Gwinnett County Fire got there a little after 10 p.m. reporting about 40 firefighters were on scene fighting the fire last night. We spoke with the pastor who says this is just a tough blow. My dad died last year, dementia, and uh, everything I had from him was in that building. All his preaching notes, his, the Bibles he gave me, uh, pretty much everything that's precious to me was in that building and not in my, my house. This is a really historic church and a big part of this community. The fire department did say the good news is no one was injured as of last night. That is, they did say this is a very tough loss, though, for the community. Guys.